Right, we're going to be moving on to string pulling next. So, I've got here a ball of string, some scissors to cut a piece of string, a few ink colours, yellow, blue and red. i am decided to go with blue to start off with, so I've put a little bit of blue out into my palette. I've added a little bit of water to this one because it's acrylic ink, so it's quite a strong ink. Um, then I've taken some scissors and I've cut a piece of string, probably about 30 centimetres long. It can be longer, it can be shorter, it depends on how confident you want to be. Now the first thing you need to do is to take your paper, and this is just photocopy of paper, and fold it in half. You will find with this technique, the first time that you do it, the string will be too wet and you won't get the greatest results. So I would recommend having another piece of paper, I can pick one up, that's folded in half and that is ready to go straight after you do your first string pull. That one's filled, folded better, so I'll use that as my good. And I use this as my trial run to sort out my string. Now, if the string is too wet, which it usually always is for the first one, you'll get a little bit of blobbing. So to do it on two pieces of paper, you'll get much better results. You take your piece of string and you put one end into the ink. Now you want a dry end that you can hold. You can see there, I've got that end with my left hand. I'm using a brush to get the ink all over the rest of the string. Okay, just like so. Then I'm going to pick up my ink and it's going to be really wet. I'll warn you now. I'm going to lay it, you can see already what I mean by blobbing, with a swirly pattern just down through that right hand side of the piece of paper. Then I'm going to fold my piece of paper in half, I'm going to put my left hand on top of it, or you can put your right hand if you're left handed, and I'm going to apply downward pressure. Now you have to be careful with the amount of pressure, if you apply too much you will rip the piece of paper. Then I'm going to pull the piece of string out down the bottom with my other hand and I'm going to lift it up and open up my piece of paper and you can see that it's quite a wet pattern if you then take your proper one that you're going to do you're then going to spiral it around nice wide spiral down like a question mark Just put that on top Check my hand isn't really dirty. I'm going to spread my fingers. I'm trying to apply downward pressure over where the string is sitting underneath my hand. And I'm pulling it out at the bottom. Trying to be fairly gentle. Then if you open that one up, you can see you start getting the patterns. Now it takes a bit of practice and you'll find that you probably want to go for longer bits of string to get more exotic patterns play around with it and see what you can get to work. I'm just going to show you how to do a two coloured version. You can do three colours as well, it depends on how ambitious you feel this morning. So for two... Right, so we're going to do two colours now. I'm going to go for yellow and blue, so hopefully I get some greens if all goes well. How you handle this is really important and quite difficult. So first of all I'd recommend a longer piece of string because it will make life a lot easier for you and you need to put the blue down and then the yellow so you're looking at putting the colour that's going to be towards the bit that you're holding down first on your piece of string so therefore take your piece of string fold it in half as you can see there so that I get that dry bit and then I'm going to use one hand to pull in the bit that's going to be yellow and I'm going to dip the blue section into my blue ink. I use a brush just to get a good amount of coverage of ink in there. Now the ink just um, stay quite wet on the string for a fair amount of time so don't feel like you have to rush. Make sure you get good coverage. Yeah. 
like that. Now I'm going to pull that out. I'm going to try and take off a bit of that excess ink because there's quite a lot of ink. It's going to drip over everything. Just give it a little bit of a shake. Now I'm going to hold the end. Oh, she can see already I've dotted. And then I'm going to have the end that's going to be yellow, all this part. And I'm going to have to dip that in the yellow ink. You can see here. Feeding it down into my bottle of yellow ink. And I'm going to use my brush just to work the yellow into that piece of string. I'm trying not to get any of the blue in the yellow ink. So there's a little bit of string that's drying between the two. I really want to cross contaminate my yellow so that I can use it again in future. Oops, already I can see that that's happened. Oh well. This is where you put some ink out into a pot so if it gets a bit cross contaminated you don't have to worry too much. Now you can see here I've got my two pieces of paper. My first run, which I've already folded in half, and my second run. I'm going to take one hand and open that up. I'm then going to Gently ease my piece of string out of my container. I'm going to come down here and gently wrap it around my design. I'm going to fold that over like so. Apply downward pressure in my hand. Just gently pull out the string at the base. It's actually not bad for a first one. Then I'm going to take my second piece of paper, open it up, and do the same approach. But now it should hopefully, I think she says, it's all waving all over the place be a little bit more drier so it's easier to control and generates more interesting type marks. Lay that down there. Put my hand over the top. Pull my string out gently. Oh, I've got a little bit because it's very wet this thing because I've put two colours in. That looks lovely. That's great. Now you have a go. You can play around. You can build up some different colours. So you might fancy, uh, I could, for instance, shall we push our luck? Take a little bit of red and add it into my blue so it goes purple. Dip my string in there. And remember that you've got to do a first batch before you do the second batch or this could completely wreck my nice one that I've just done so do keep that in mind I'm going to take that out I'm going to put my good one to one side I'm going to go back to my first one take my piece of string which is absolutely dripping with blue ink use a brush let's use a brush actually that's quite a good technique using a brush Close that up by a little bit of pressure. Yeah, you can see how wet that was. It was wise to do it on a spare one before you do your best. Let's use that brush again just to drape around a really strange pattern. Apply some downward pressure, make sure I've pressed down evenly. Oops, over there. Oh, see that's really looking fun now. You can have some really good, very surreal artworks. It looks like a person dancing. Uh, moving their head backwards and forwards. Have a play. See what you can get to work. Bye.